do have one of the largest minimally invasive mitral valve repair practices in the, in the United States. Repair surgery is better than replacement surgery because it's more durable, it doesn't require long-term medications, and it's natural tissue. So the recovery from a minimally invasive mitral valve operation in our hands is weeks of recovery instead of months of recovery. So many patients are back to work within two weeks of the operation. We're always thinking of how we can do things better. Um, we're always developing new procedures that are less invasive and uh, provide better outcomes. And we try to be cutting edge. And I think to be a leader in cardiac surgery, you know, not only do you have to have great outcomes with what you do, but you have to be innovative and be on the cutting edge of cardiac surgery. When I was a kid, my favorite thing to do was fix things that I didn't even know how they worked, but I could fix them. Like I could, I would, I lived in a row house and, you know, every week people threw stuff out and I would go back and back in the alley in the back and see what they threw out that looked like it was like something I could salvage. So I would get old lawnmowers or old radios or whatever and, and try to figure out why it didn't work and how I could make it work. And I got good at doing that. So when I trained in surgery, surgery had a little bit of, a little bit of that. But when you got to the heart, you know, you, you, that kind of thinking really works very well for a heart surgeon because especially the kind of surgery I do, which is a reconstructive surgery of the valves, because it's good to know when you look at something to have an ability to be able to figure out what's wrong with it and how you can make it work. Recently, I operated on a patient who was turned down by all the medical school hospitals because he had, he had a bad heart, he had previous bypass surgery, he had a, a, one of his bypass arteries was directly behind his breastbone, which made it impossible to approach him and he needed an aortic valve replaced. And he was, very, he was a relatively young man and he really was terribly symptomatic, but nobody would touch him. So we did the April, we did, last week we just did the apical aortic conduit operation on him, and he did terrific. It's really all about the patient. That's why we do what we do.